Hi there, and welcome back to the Sun's Chimney channel here. Today we're going to do a quick stove review on the Vermont Castings Montpelier 2. Um, this is the newest of the Montpeliers. This is the year 2021 now. Um, this one has been upgraded so that we have uh, em low emissions and higher efficiency. Get some of the stats coming up here, so you'll see that it can heat up to 2,400 square feet. The maximum BTUs up to 56,000, a burn time of roughly seven hours, and it can hold a log of about 20 inches. Um, one thing to keep in mind uh, with these units is that some of these uh, numbers are manufacturer stated. Sometimes it doesn't always play out that way inside of your home. Um, now we'll just take a look at this particular model we have on our floor here. This is a brown enamel version, and uh, it's just a nice big open view, which is nice to see. Nice handle, it's fixed to this stove. And some of the changes you can see when you look inside of the stove as compared to some of the prior Montpeliers is the uh, fire bricks in the back. And then also these andirons up front have changed a little bit uh, from previous iterations of it. Uh, I do like this new andiron a little bit better. It's a one-piece andiron, easily lifts out. Uh, these andirons are really great just for making it so that you can really load up your fire. You don't have to worry about the wood rolling forward onto the glass and ultimately making it dirtier than it needs to be. The other improvement I found is that they put uh, fire bricks, just standard size fire bricks in the back of these stoves. So if you ever were to break them, they're easily replaced and you don't have to wait for a long order time. Uh, looking up, you'll see is the baffles and the air tubes inside of the stove. And then there's a little bit of blanket on top of the baffle as well. And the idea of this is to hold the heat down, hold the exhaust down so that we're getting a more complete uh, burn, complete combustion below. And it runs over those air tubes and burns again, and it passes through and goes up through the exhaust. One of the changes is the, uh, the air control on this one. Pretty straightforward. You're just gonna go ahead and you pull this handle out here, and it'll actually slowly scale back as it heats up and uh, is in the process of burning. Uh, additionally, all these stoves, they come with a, uh, a fan kit that's installed with them. That's really needed when you're talking about a flush insert like this to push heat out into the room. And what you can see in here is a pretty uh, area, pretty large blower. This area can get kind of dirty, so always be mindful to clean it up here and there. Uh, this is a little rheostat, so this dial has it operating from low to high. And then they also added in an on off button. So if you simply don't want to use the blower at all, you can just switch it off. Um, when you do turn it on, there is a snap switch in the back. So it's only going to run when the temperature is hit. Otherwise, that's about it on this stove today.